Okay, very, very shortly. Uh, welcome uh, to my presentation. My presentation is simply uh, what I'm presenting here is simply an application in which we use uh, open source solution for uh, mapping um, stands, chestnut stand decline in uh, Piemonte region uh, using, making use of remote sensing data and JS uh, processing. Uh, very so very short. Um, what we have done uh, first of all, of course, we uh, we downloaded some uh, images, Sentinel two A and B images acquired in summer season, 2018, 19, and uh, 20, and we uh, processed uh, some classical band indices. Uh, for in order, uh, we analyze the uh, value of these indices with reference to some test areas in which, of course, um, through surveys, direct surveys on the ground, we know that chestnut standards uh, are suffering different degrees of decline. After some analysis on this data, we selected the NDW index, that's a normalized difference water index, so making use of B8, B12 uh, uh, bands of Sentinel, that as uh, well known in literature is strongly correlated to water content of the vegetation cover, so uh, really that's the more suitable for our analysis. This part uh, um, on the remote sensing data uh, was uh, done, uh, was carried out using SNAP that, uh, as you know, is uh, free available uh, make, um, through European Space Agency and is effective in, for uh, this kind of uh, remote sensing data analysis. After that, um, we identified in the uh, range, uh, two range values of the index uh, for uh, two classes, the areas that are affected by initial decline, in which many trees have uh, uh, drying symptoms, and areas in which the decline is much more severe, and most of the trees are already dead. Then um, we simply reclassify the images using some models so in QGIS. The, um, the second part of the JS analysis was done uh, in uh, using QGIS, making use of QGIS. Uh, of course, uh, using this classes range, we reclassify the images, the images, uh, the, the, the index in this case. Then we build a mask uh, based on the forest vector map that was done by my institute in the uh, in the past years. Uh, we applied this mask only not not for all the for the forest, but only for the chestnut stands because, of course, the, in the forest map there are different forest typologies. And we, ap we applied uh, simply the mask, and uh, what we, we obtain is a, a map like like this, as you can see in this in this image, uh, in which of course the health uh, vegetation of chestnut is uh, in green, and uh, in yellow we have the initial uh, decline, and uh, in red the, the area the areas are more affected by the problem that is suffering a severe decline. Um, they, um, all these, uh, of course, all this, the processing chain was then included in a, in a model in, a, in QGIS in order to <coughs> easily apply then to other images for other years. So, okay, um, I'm closing. Uh, the results uh, of, uh, of this work was uh, an accurate mapping of uh, the areas uh, suffering different degrees of damages. And of course, we are. Um, we can, uh, we, we could provide uh, the region, the, because we, we are working for the regional department or the forest department in this case, uh, quantitative data on the chestnut decline phenomena, and as you can see, the 3% uh, actually, uh, presently, of the, of the chestnuts is suffering uh, a severe decline. 10% um, is uh, just uh, uh, first, uh, first, uh, first sign of suffering of the of the forest uh, of the forest cover. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Fabio.